Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for Dumbo. So Dumbo is a Disney movie directed by Tim Burton that is a remake of the original Dumbo movie that came out back in the 1940s. It was a hand-drawn animated movie. It was about like an hour long. And this movie follows the same story. It takes place at a circus and it has the elephant with the flappy ears. But the characters, I'm pretty sure, are for the most part different. The story, for the most part, is different. It's kind of like he took Dumbo, took the key elements of Dumbo, and made a brand new story around it. And this one follows the story of a guy, I don't remember his name, but he's played by Colin Firth, that comes back from the war with a missing arm, and his wife is gone, leaving him with his two kids. They live at the circus, and he is trying to make the circus as big as it once was. And... The, he's also having troubles with Danny DeVito, who plays the small guy who owns the circus. And then one day, the elephant that they have gives birth to a smaller elephant with giant ears. And at the time, they don't know what to do with it, but they soon realize that those ears can fly. And from there, it kind of just gets crazy. It's all about corporations. It's all about how they use him for consumer purposes. And it's all about animal abuse and a bunch of different stuff. So... Dumbo was a movie I was looking forward to. I'd say of the three Disney remakes coming out this movie, it was probably my number, I mean this year, it was probably my number two. I was most excited for Lion King, pretty excited for Dumbo, not excited at all for Aladdin, and the trailer that they showed before Dumbo only assured that even more. But I still was looking forward to Dumbo, and unfortunately it was a gigantic disappointment. One of the biggest problems with Dumbo is the child actors. Usually I'm a strong advocate for child acting because I think that most child acting is good. I mean, most movies hire actors that are competent, child actors that are competent and can carry movies or carry their own scenes. These actors can't really do that. They are there just to look cute as a lot of Disney movies with kid actors often do, but they can't act. There's some very serious things that they have to deal with, too. Their mother recently passed away. Their father is there, but he has a hard time loving them like their mother did. They're constantly missing their mother. It's some very, very complex emotion, and the kid actors just aren't able to display it at all. And honestly, when a child actor can't act well, I usually don't blame the child. I blame the director. Because usually it's the child's first time acting. They need good experience. They need... The, a strong mentor to teach them how to act and if if um, Tim Burton was not there and he didn't teach them the right things to teach them how to act then it probably didn't turn out too well and it didn't because the child acting is one of the poorest things in the entire movie another huge problem was the way that the scenes were put together in this movie I wouldn't say that it's necessarily the pace it's the order of the scenes because sometimes you'll go from having too many scenes focus on one thing and then suddenly a scene will skip a week ahead. Like when they first discover that Dumbo can actually fly with his ears, they say, okay, we need to train him so that he can fly. Next scene, he's getting ready in front of a giant crowd to fly. And there should have been some moment, there should have been a scene in between showing them trying to work it through with Dumbo. But because they don't do that, it, it that's just completely lost. And there's a lot of really awkward transitions like that. And because the scenes don't line up well, the movie can feel very clunky and it can feel very stretched out at some parts and not stretched out enough in others. It's a very, very weird mix and I think that it has to do with the script and the order which they place their scenes. There are some good things about Dumbo. I mean, it's not entirely boring. It gets pretty boring at the end, but until then I was fairly entertained and the CGI on Dumbo is pretty good other than a few shots of him flying. The other animal CGI is terrible, but I thought that Dumbo w looked all right. I thought that the CGI was pretty good for him. Him, but there's not a whole lot of positives for Dumbo. I thought that this felt very much like Disney being greedy and taking a random property and getting a director and trying to make money off of it. And because of that, it was a massive disappointment. I will give Dumbo a 4.25 out of 10. All right, that concludes my review for Dumbo. So what are your thoughts on this film or what do you think of the original Dumbo? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke and this has been the Clever Critics. Goodbye.